I'd like to introduce you to uh, my new album, Arkansas. First of all, it's a record that uh, I feel like I've pretty much waited my whole career to make. It's uh, kind of the sum total of a lot of influences, stuff that preceded me uh, in terms of uh, date and age, but it's songs that affected me as a child, and then moving right up through my teens into the into the 60s when the folk and blues uh, revival happened in America and I got a chance to spend some time with a lot of great traditional performers who were being rediscovered and, and reintroduced to uh, especially up, up north in the northern cities. Originally the record started as a tribute to Mississippi John Hurt who's one of my heroes. I've always played his music, I got a chance to spend some time with him in the mid 60s and uh, I actually got to play his guitar on the first two Hall & Oates records. So I have this connection to Mississippi John and as I started the project and I began to recreate the Mississippi John Hurt songbook, so to speak, I kind of, I kind of felt a little bit like I was letting it down. I, I don't think anyone's ever going to play it the way he played it, and even though I was being as faithful as I could to it, there was something missing. And I, I decided to take a little, you know, make a little experiment, bring in a, a bunch of my friends who are incredible musicians, and play this music, which is pretty much identified as kind of music that's done on a solo guitar. But I wanted to see what would happen if an ensemble played it. So I put together a, a great group of musicians uh, that included drums and percussion, bass, electric guitar, cello, pedal steel, and mandolin. Uh, the players on the album are um, some of the top guys in, in the world and in Nashville and some of my best friends. Got Sam Bush on mandolin, Russ Paul on pedal steel, Guthrie Trapp on lead guitar, Steve Mackey on bass, Josh Day on percussion, and my secret weapon, Nat Smith on cello. With this really unusual rhythm section, these songs began to take on a life of their own. It wasn't something that I, I could have ever imagined, but once it began to happen, we got on this roll and we literally recorded the album in about a week and a half. It was a really amazing experience to see these songs come to life in a completely different way with this amazing group of musicians that we assembled. We took a lot of time with making sure that we could record it in the most uh, traditional way possible. Everyone in the, in the studio looking at each other, playing live, no overdubs, uh, recording straight to tape and uh, it was really done in a in, in the most faithful you know reproduction of an old style of a, of a recording session. Uh, our engineer and co-producer David Kalmuski at Addiction Studios he did a great job he used all analog equipment and everything we did was really to to capture the warmth and the organic nature of this kind of playing with an incredible ensemble playing together uh, and I was singing live uh, for most of the tracks, so it really, uh, I think we captured that spirit, and that's, the, that's what this album's about. Snow white cotton fields of Arkansas, yeah.